Hey everyone, today I wanted to take a moment and talk about vitamin D and its importance for those suffering from diabetes. Extremely important. Vitamin D is a vital nutrient and actually it's a hormone for maintaining healthy blood glucose levels. How? Well, vitamin D is often referred to as a sunshine vitamin, right? But you can find it in other places other than Florida, right? So it's a different story though for a lot of us. Vitamin D deficiency has become an unfortunate reality for many diabetics, with some reports saying that up to 80% of diabetics may have lower vitamin D levels than those without diabetes. Fortunately, vitamin D supplements are available and actually can help restore the levels in your body, giving you the vitamin you need to stay healthy, no matter what living conditions you might find yourself in. Now, what I'm going to talk today is that I'll talk about the relationship between diabetes and vitamin D. I'll talk about signs of vitamin D deficiency. And I will talk about why some people are at even higher risk and how much vitamin D to take, especially if you have diabetes and foods that are high in vitamin D, of course. Vitamin D is an essential nutrient, right? That our body needs to absorb calcium and phosphorus. Many people are not exposed to enough sunlight on a regular basis to obtain their daily recommended vitamin D. Yeah, understandably. That can affect and put their health at risk. Now, vitamin D plays a critical role in preventing diabetes in most cases. It's not the only thing, of course, but it is one of the things that help prevent diabetes. Now, in particular, vitamin E deficiency has been linked to the onset of diabetes by disrupting a key step in it is emergence, which is maintaining normal release of insulin by pancreatic beta cells. These are the cells that produce insulin. Diabetes is initiated by insulin resistance, a process that the beta cells can contract through increased production of insulin to prevent high blood sugar. However, overactive or overactivation of beta cells leads to excessive cellular signaling and death through the reactive oxygen species and calcium unregulated signaling. Vitamin D acts as an anti-inflammatory and reduces this process, therefore avoiding both the initial resistance and subsequent cell death that leads to diabetes. Now, further, maintaining normal resting levels of calcium within the beta cells is necessary for proper functioning. That's why vitamin D helps create that balance in order to avoid the development of diabetes. Another good reason to take vitamin D, well, with diabetic patients being at risk for weak bones, right? We know that. Well, if you didn't know, now you do. I recommend taking vitamin D on a daily basis as a preventive measure to prevent bone fractures. This is because low levels of vitamin D not only make diabetics bones even weaker, but it increases the risk of falls and as a result, increases the risk of fractures, which can result in immobility and further worsen diabetic symptoms when you don't move, right? Additionally, vitamin D contributes to muscle strength and balance, which helps diabetic patients staying in active physical condition in staying in physical activities and promote better diabetes health. Now let's talk about what are the signs of vitamin D deficiency. Let's talk about that. Well, signs of vitamin D deficiency can actually impact your health in multiple ways. If you're constantly, for example, getting sick or feeling unusually tired, you may have persistent pain in your bones or your back or experience depression or loss of enthusiasm towards tasks, or have wounds maybe that heal slowly, or you may suffer from a decrease in bone density which leads to osteoporosis, or experience long-term hair loss maybe without underlying cause. These are the chances, there are chances that you may be vitamin D deficient. Having said that, vitamin D deficiency has become increasingly prevalent in modern society and certain people are particularly at risk. For example, those people with little sun exposure, especially in North, right, 
are often unable to produce this vital nutrient naturally, meaning that their diet must be supplemented to achieve recommended amounts. This is especially important for those who receive insufficient dietary sources or live in northern parts of the United States or Scandinavian countries, for example. And a lot of times, especially nowadays, we are experiencing extreme weather conditions and everybody is staying inside, and that's definitely a hindrance. Additionally, individuals work with dark skin tones or endocrine disorders such as hypoparathyroidism or celiac disease or other inflammatory bowel disorders or liver issues or any form of malabsorption such as the one that happens gastric bypass surgery or even other inflammatory disorders in the bowel such as ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease should take extra precautionary measures against vitamin D deficiency. Now, how much vitamin D a diabetic need, right? Well, for most diabetic individuals, it is important to maximize your daily vitamin D intake in order to maintain healthy levels. While the standard recommended dosage is around 400 units for most everyone, Research has found that diabetic individuals should go for 1,000 to 2,000 units per day to make sure they have adequate levels to maintain their levels, right? If your vitamin D levels are found to be very low, very deficient, then your healthcare provider can advise you to take a higher dose up to 5,000 units a day or sometimes 50 units per week in order to restore optimal levels. What about foods? Well, which foods are high in vitamin D? You want to know, right? Of course. Well, the cod liver oil has long been cherished as one of the richest sources of vitamin D. It is not only cod liver oil that contains the ample amounts of vitamin D, of course. Salmon, swordfish, tuna fish can provide similar essential benefits. Now, of course, dairy and uh, plant milks as well, fortified with the same uh, vitamin D, are also good options. So, uh, vitamin D packed sardines and beef liver, if you like liver, are also some food items that are high in, in this essential vitamin D, making those foods really ideal to try to incorporate them into your regular meals or maybe eating them once or twice a week, right? Well, how about some tanning, right? Well, the good news is that just around 5 to 30 minutes, depending on your skin complexion, of the sun exposure without a sunscreen, <laughs> that's important, between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m., at least twice per week, is sufficient for healthy levels of vitamin D. Well, what's the catch? For individuals with fair skin who are concerned about potential skin cancer risks or aging, right? Taking vitamin D in food or supplement is an option because you're, the more you're exposed to sun, the faster you're going to get aged on your skin. You may have more dryness. You may have, you know, more uh, sunspots. And, of course, you may develop cancer, God forbid. So... Taken in the food or supplements are a good alternative. In addition to improving your bones, your muscles, your teeth, and overall health, research has linked adequate levels of vitamin D with lower rates of depression, obesity, and cancer. And here's a bonus knowledge for you. There's no doubt that vitamin D is essential for our health, right? But did you know that it can also protect your eyes? A 2017 study in China uh, without a balloon found that levels of this vitamin in patients with type 2 diabetes play a significant role in the development of diabetic retinopathy, an eye disease related to diabetes. The findings showed that the participants who had lower levels of vitamin D were more likely to suffer from this condition. This emphasizes the importance of ensuring that you are receiving enough vitamin D through food or supplements or Chinese food delivered with a balloon. Just kidding. Not only to improve your overall health, but also to help keep your vision strong and healthy. 
Well, we hope you enjoyed this video and that you were able to take away some helpful tips on getting the vitamin D you need. Remember, always make sure you are getting either enough sunshine when it is available or if you're concerned about the sunshine, get enough in the food and consider using supplements as well. As you know, our neuropathy support has it. I know we have been some backed up and some shortages happened and it's very popular, but it's coming back. It's about to be back in stock. So check it out. If I am releasing this video sometime later, more than likely it will be back in stock by that time. Well, until next time, stay safe and be sure to stay healthy and happy. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.